Hey, I let the hippie hair down today for a very special Sugary Licks pedal demonstration and stacking showcase. We have the Microtron 3 from Mutron today. This is one of my all-time favorite pedals. It never leaves my board. In fact, I change board to board depending on what gig I'm going to just to make sure this thing stays by my side. There's so much you can do with it. It is a classic, classic pedal, uh, maybe most famously used by Mr. Jerry Garcia, who I am definitely a fan of. Uh, let's see what happens with this thing. Let's do it. This is an essential piece of any funk jam band or exploratory guitarist's rig. I absolutely adore this thing. It, it's on every, every gig I play, I use this bad boy. There's the two switches at the top that'll go between low pass, high pass, and band pass, and the range. The low sets the filter sweep to a low range for most rhythm guitar parts and whatnot. High sets the sweep to the high range for string harmonics, up the neck solo type work. Then there's the level peak and gain knobs. I think level and gain are pretty self-explanatory. Peak controls the filter audio response from weak too strong. Then at the bottom there's the effect, that'll depress the pedal, put it on and off, and of course the up-down foot switch. The up is the auto wah sound, uh, a heel to toe sweep on a wah pedal, and the down is the down swoop. That's the real wah, 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 bad boy type thing. That's the one that I use most of the time, toe to heel sweep on the wah pedal. Uh, there's some specs for you. Runs on a nine volt output, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty compact but also strong piece of reissued gear. Uh, they've made a lot of these over the years. Here's a look at what that kind of looks like. Then of course there's the vintage kind as well. Those are a little bit pricey and hard to find in good condition, but this one pops up randomly on the Mutron website when they do short runs. So when you see it available, you might want to hop on that. The Microtron 3 is plugged into my Boss Amp, a clean pedal platform. All the EQs are at noon, a hint of reverb. Gibson Les Paul. Let's play a couple chords, a couple of single notes, and then turn the filter on. I think that's very clear. Let's uh, let's turn the filter sweep to up and just see how dramatic of a change that is when the sweep is going in the other direction. It's much sharper. Uh, I did turn the gain up a little bit. Let's turn the peak up just a little bit too. To me, it sounds like throwing darts. That sweep is so crisp. It's so sharp. Let's uh, let's go back to down. Give you another quick taste of that old uh, sort of Grateful Dead vibe. <laughs> down, peak a little bit up. There we are. If it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it might be the Microtron 3. Let's run it through some other bizarre stuff and, and see what kind of tones we can get. Welcome back to the stack. We are going to use a familiar one here again. I'm sorry, it's got a little bottom piece thing so I cannot stand it on its end. It is the Super Octave OC3. We have stacked this one before. Octave pedal is a, is a great addition. It really 
thunders to sound. It stacks really well with a lot of stuff. So uh, let's see how it sounds with the Microtron. So here's the Microtron on. <laughs> Now, let's apply some octave thunder. gets the fun time seal of approval right there that is dirty and psychedelic um i can see that getting people grooving it sounds just like funk bass can't go wrong all right let's stack it up one more time microtron into what is my gigging delay pedal right now a wampler the doctor lo-fi delay i use these two pedals together all the time all the time Audiences up and down the Mid-Atlantic have been have marveled at the uh, the shredding lo-fi Cascading wah blah 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 blah. They're fun. Let's hear how they sound. Okay, so Microtron on Amp on Let's tap that a little faster. How about a different set of subdivisions? Let's go to uh, 16th notes. I mean, with the right kind of audience, that's going to uh, that's going to resonate, which is a bit of a pun, but also the truth. Delay is so much fun when you get it tapped in time along with the really swoopy wah sound. It, it's a dynamic, dynamic tone. There you have it. Microtron 3 from Mutron. A update on the classic envelope filter pedal used by so many people, most notably Jerry. Um, you get that sound if you dial these things in right. I have a particular setting that works for me. It's down with a bit of a higher peak and a gain turned a little bit lower. Down sweep, that is. Um, but I can see James Brown funk chords played on the upstroke with the with the sweep up. There's a lot of fun to be had with this, especially if you pair it with an octave pedal or perhaps a cool delay. Uh, I really like the way that this sounds, particularly with that lo-fi delay, the, the, the decay of the notes degrades a little bit, and it really gives it sort of a psychedelic feel, which is kind of the music that I really enjoy playing. Um, but there is a spot for this on your board. It's a little expensive. They're kind of hard to find. There's, I believe, one in stock on the Mutron website right now. Um, so go snatch it up uh, and put this on your board. You're not going to be disappointed. Uh, it's super cool. Mutron is a kind of an interesting company. There's a lot of history with the makers and the brand names and stuff. I, I, it's, a, it's a little too gritty for me, and I don't completely understand how it all works. But Mutron, go for it. Check it out, the Microtron 3. My name is Matthew. It's been wonderful speaking to you on behalf of Sugary Licks, and I'll be back with another review real, real soon. Mm -hmm.